Glenn, as a, again, as a clinician and having thousands of employees, like it or not, I went to lots and lots of funerals. And one of the things that I learned when I went to funerals is that tried your best not to be emotional because if employees would always ask, hey, would you mind reading the eulogy or would you mind you know, doing a piece of the, the funeral? And I heard, I don't know how many years ago it was, the adage of what that little thing is in between the year you're born and the year that you die. And so when you are, I've seen the, the headstones that would have two people on the headstone. It'll say, you know, uh, Ed Smith in 1947 or 1927 and 2000 and whatever year he passed away. And next to it, it would say uh, Martha in 1927. And then over to the right, there's nothing there at all because they bought the headstone to be able to have them both there. And, and that little thing that's in between the two dates, that little dash. And I look at it when I'm in cemeteries and that little thing that's after that first year. And I often think about how you spend yours, how you spend that little thing that's there. And that little thing that's there, that little dash um, is your life. And if you go through life being a pessimistic poop, you know what? No one wants to be around you. <laughs>